Okay, what's the guys? Who I am? Okay, what's the guys? Who I am? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can install Windows 10 on Limbo PC emulator. Now, I, I downloaded this minute back, and I'm not tested it out yet, so yeah. So let's begin. So uh, to now, if first for the uh, Windows 10, head to Chrome. Minute. I'll just type in Windows 10 with UEFA. Yeah, yeah, go and you come over here, go to XDA and press. The one which it says uh, Windows 10. Qcow2. This one. It will get the Qcow2. I already got it, so it not need to install for you. You need to download it. So that was 1.10 GB. So uh, be careful. Now what you have to do is type in Limbo. Uh, yeah, there we are. Press on download. It will download the file. So yeah. Now, uh, if you got both of those files, go to uh, edit. install Limbo x86. You can do that it's very easy to do. You just press on the none button and new. You can name whatever you want, but I'll name it Vin. Ten. Oh, okay. Now they made a game. Then ten. Press create. Now this looks like uh, a common folder inspector, right? It looks like Windows XP from the starting up. Uh, not starting up, but like that. But I don't know. Maybe it's PD, but who cares? Anyway, it's just Windows 10. <coughs> Select X64, keep it as PC, from default in the CPU model, select Sandy Bridge, give it two cores, and give it 800 megabytes of uh, RAM, because that's more than enough for Windows 10 on this scale. On the hard disk A, press on open, and it will redirect uh, now. Go to the place where you installed, go to the place where you downloaded the Windows uh, QCAL2. In my case, it's in the, my download folder, so I'll just select QCAL2. CD ROM, do not select anything. Boot settings, say, say boot from C hard disk. All the others is yours. Press on oh, the start button. And, yeah, you'll be made with the black screen, but do not freak out. You can see this screen right here, it may look like Windows 10 or Windows ME or whatever. It's very normal because it's like a PE environment, I guess. <coughs> oh, come up now. As you can see, it's showing a Windows thing. It'll be up in a few minutes. I mean, seconds, I guess. And you'll be needed with this screen, a Windows 10 light screen. Now make sure you have Windows, uh, I mean, sorry, Limbo 2.1.0 because it will let you uh, take, take it from your downloads directly also. But other other versions like uh, above, uh, you know, 5, it will not, uh, it will not uh, let you take the file. From the, you know, the, uh, the device directory, you, it will ask you to take from a SD card or USB drive or something. Now, to uh, get it up to the user screen, use the two fingers and, yeah, that's it. It will come up just like that. It will say Windows is starting up. Now I did not make it, I never will have a question like that, but it will say Windows is starting up, 
and press on the user the user thing I should probably go it up now as you can see it will say loading your personal settings in which luckily they did not name it anyone or else I would have to be copyrighted to them so they named it user for you know no you know namings now the reason they named it like that is because they don't like this um, now like Nagu and Bao and Bui on YouTube he names his uh, files I mean uh, he names his users his uh, channel's name and Bui or N uh, actually this will take some time so I will pause the video and be right back once it's finished loading. Okay, so as you can see now, we are in the Windows 10 desktop. Now, do not ask me if sound is working. It will not work uh, because Windows 10 does not have the drivers for sound. It, as you can see, it's synchronizing my time, but it's not synchronizing my date of time. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, if you're running on a high-end smartphone or something, it will work perfectly. As I told you, this is Windows 10 PE, actually. Now, to do right-click or left-click, press on right. If you, you should press on your right volume button. Press on. I'll show you. Now, if uh, now if you want to do right-click or left-clicking, for me, my... Uh, just use your volume up and down buttons. Now, for me, the volume uh, up button does not work because I because I one day crashed this tablet on the full floor. But luckily, it was just a Panasonic tablet, so nothing much happened. Now, if you press on volume down to right click, as you can see, and then press anywhere. Instead of uh, anywhere, while dragging the mouse. So as you can see, it's fully functional. It, not everything will be there, but uh, it is expected for that. Now, if you want to access something, we should uh, now. For example, I want to access the internet, which I don't, which I doubt it opening. Press on, uh, put the. Oh, it's fast. It's coming to the found new hardware visitor. Okay, cancel. Now, if I want to open up internet or whatever that is. Okay, the processor does not want to stop saying that. Okay. Now, if I want to open up internet, I should first uh, put my mouse to the Internet Explorer icon. And then press on right click on that. And then uh, here I should press open. I even doubt it opening, so. And I guess this is Windows PE environment, so do not expect full things. So it's very functional actually. It works pretty well, but the mouse sometimes gets locked sometimes here. Yeah, as you can see, it's over here. I doubt also internet working, so. So that's how you can install, uh, you know, Windows. Now, if you want to use keyboard, just use in your built-in keyboard. That's it. As you can see, it's fully functional. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe, see you guys Bye. Oh, wait. Start button. Okay, the start button looks nice. If we open up control panel, if it opens, uh, we just press on that, and I will make a new user. That is, if I can. Okay, no need. Now it will not. The Internet Explorer will not load because Internet Explorer is gone forever. Now, we, if you want to exit the program, you have to press on the back button and press on Alt. You need Hacker's keyboard for this. Press on Alt. Go to the FN tab. 
and uh, where is that? F4. As you can see, it's fully functional, although it looks like uh, you know uh, Windows XP, but that is there because it's like that. Now I'm just gonna close this thing. Now what do you want? What? I hope it is not. It is, I guess, the uh, you know. This is pretty much not at all practical to use. As you can see, how much is lagging? Yeah. Now, if you want to access the Windows thing, you know, you basically cannot. Let me see if my le left click works. Now, it's very practical to use, so everything here is, ex uh, you know, very, very ex uh, experimental. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.